Linux Mint 21 has finally landed. This is Ankush from Mitzfoss and here I am going to tell you all about it. Linux Mint 21 is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. In case you haven't checked out the details for it, we had a video for it linked in the description. While most Ubuntu based distributions have similar feature improvements, Linux Mint tends to stand out of the crowd. To start with, you can find refinements in the file manager. Finally, with Linux Mint 21, we have thumbnail support for various file types that include WebP, AppImage and more. It really adds to the user experience when compared to a situation where you did not have any thumbnail icons for certain files. There's also a new Bluetooth application that is Blueman that works well across multiple desktop environment. It is capable Bluetooth manager with advanced options. Not everyone would need those options, but it's good to have them. It replaces the Blueberry graphical user interface frontend for GNOME's Bluetooth program. While TimeShift program has no changes, it will now be developed by the Mint team as an X app. So you can expect more from the app and better compatibility across desktop environments. Sticky Notes sees a minor change that lets you cycle through the colors when adding new notes instead of random ones. The most interesting one, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, comes with Firefox as a snap by default. But thanks to the partnership between Linux Mint and Mozilla, Linux Mint comes with the Debian package pre-installed with no snap. Of course, you can enable the snap support manually and get it installed if you like it. But do you? Rest of the changes include the usual new wallpaper, subtle improvements under the hood, newer Linux kernel 5.15 LTS, which comes with various hardware refinements, and ultimately Cinnamon 5.4.2 for this edition and Mate 1.26 and XFCE 4.16 for other editions. Cinnamon 5.4.2 does not have any visual differences, but it comes with an upgraded window manager with many technical improvements and a revamped code base. So what do you think about Linux Mint 21? Do you like it? Have you tried it out yet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.